All right, hi guys, uh, Ryan back here again. Uh, so we got some good information for you today. I uh, had a brake job in here and uh, got some kind of shockers, I guess you could say. So we're gonna share those with you and uh, a couple things to look at as far as uh, brake cams go. All right, so first of all, if you're new to the channel, um, please check out the rest of our videos. We got a lot of stuff out there, uh, owner operator stuff, a lot of truck maintenance stuff, as you all know, or maybe not all of you know, but um, I was a mechanic, owner operator, back to mechanic now. So got both sides of the fence and the perspectives and all that. So check out all those videos if you're mechanic or new to owner operating or, or looking at new trucks, getting into the business or whatever. So check us out. Okay, so what we're gonna talk about today is brake cams, uh, what they do, uh, some of the wear patterns you're gonna see and conditions as far as when they need to be replaced and how, they, how they're replaced and all that. So kind of a short, uh, not step-by-step -step type of thing, but we're gonna show you what to look for um, and, and show you some severe damage here. So this is a brake cam, S cam for uh, S cam brakes, if you didn't know that. Um, there are many different variations, many like it, um, you know, but not, most of them aren't as terrible as this one is. So this is probably one of the worst ones I've ever seen. And we'll get into a little bit more detail on that here in a second. Um, so with that, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. So this is the uh, cam installed uh, in the spider here, uh, S cam tube and your slack adjuster back here. Uh, so this one here has a lot of wear. And like, so we already took the other side out and that was the one I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you some close-ups of that here in a second um, of the wear and all that. But there, there's two journals on the camshaft. Um, there's a set of bushings and seals here because this is greasable. And then there's another set of bushings and seals on around this end of the tube by the slack adjuster. Um, so what happens here is when you know your slack adjuster actuates or turns this S cam, and that's what expands your brake shoes to either for your parking brakes or for your service brakes, and that's how that all works. This you know this spins to you know it's a lobe to where it expands your brakes. So. Like I said, this one here has had severe wear. He's got severe wear down here on the, the splines that go into the camshaft, and he had one wheel that's been popping and locking up and everything else, and by the looks of the cams, that's most likely why. Um, so one of the signs that you can see without taking all this apart, like because we, we had to take the whole hub off and everything here to actually pull these cams out because your hub's going to be like right here, so it's right in the middle. Now there's some trailers out there that have notched hubs to where you can actually pull the cam out without taking the whole hub off. Um, but most of your uh, tractors out here and trucks, you're gonna have to take the hub off. I've heard of some guys grinding out the hubs and stuff like that. I don't recommend that. I don't recommend modifying anything that way. So just, just take it out, you know, have to put a new seal in and all that and uh, you know pull the cams out. So I'll show you that. First of all, I'm gonna show you these brake shoes over here and uh, show you the, the wear patterns that are a sign of this condition here because obviously this should not be like that okay so these are the set of brake shoes that just came off this truck uh, and you'll notice one of them's almost brand new and one of them's halfway worn down almost to the wear line here he's got maybe an eighth of an inch left till these are out of service for the most part um, and what happens when you got worn out you, this is a, a sign of worn cams because when you have that worn cam or butt cam bushings it, it allows that cam to move, you know, in a lateral motion to where it's gonna apply more pressure to one shoe. So it's gonna put all the brake, and, and it, it hurts your braking power too because you're basically only using one shoe instead of both of them. I mean, look at this, this shoe's like brand new. Essentially, it, it's, it's almost like a brand new shoe. And this one's halfway worn down. So you're only using one shoe. So you're gonna wear, you're gonna continue you're basically wasting this brake shoe. So when you're getting, you're gonna replace shoes twice as fast because you're, you're only using, you're gonna have twice the wear on the top shoe, then you replace them at sets. Um, so it, it, that's one of the signs of bad cams and bushings is looking at if you get in there underneath the truck, get up there, look in your brake drums and look at your shoes. And if you got one that's way, you know, twice worn as the other, then you know you probably most likely have a uh, brake cam uh, or bushing issue. Okay, so we looked at the brake shoes over there and, and, and talked about that, the issues with those. Um, so I've got a new cam and the old cam, and these are from the left side, the driver's side over there. Um, and, and first of all, I'm gonna show you guys, share a little tip with you guys, because um, I learned this lesson the hard way a long time ago. Um, 
obviously there are left and right brake cams. So you, you're going to have right hand side, which is the passenger side, left hand side as you're sitting in the truck would be the driver's side. Because um, they are different the way that these, these S's are, are, are turned. Um, so you'll notice, obviously this is the right side. So this is always going to be turned up towards the front of the truck. So if I try to put a left hand one in there, it's going to be turned down. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind that'll save you a lot of grief, you know, or if you're going to, if you're going to do this job yourself, take pictures of it. So you remember before you pull them out, um, because if you put the wrong ones in, you're going to be taking all this back apart again. You're going to have a very bad day. So like I said, I've done it <laughs> mistakenly in the past when I was young and all that and didn't was unexperienced. So always keep in mind that your cam should always be swooshed up, pointing up towards the front of the truck and you'll have them right. So keep that in mind. Uh, all right. So we got a new, uh, new cam for the driver's side and an old cam here. And this guy, like I said, is probably one of the worst I've ever seen. Uh, you'll see on the journals here, they're probably worn down close to a sixteenth of an inch. And on both sides, um, on the other end of the journal here as well. And this one, the splines, we'll compare it with the new one. Half of the splines are gone. So, I mean, this, he's having, been having trouble with that wheel locking up. And that could have a lot to do with it. Um, and we're going to replace the slack adjusters as well because most likely they're worn out also. So that creates a lot of, a lot of slop in there and you can have crazy things happen. So that's pretty much uh, the gist of it, guys. Uh, like I said, if you're seeing that abnormal wear in your brake shoes, um, you know, you, you can, you're going to have to pull your shoes off, obviously, to be able to get in there and wiggle that and see that wear. But that one's got quite a bit of excessive wear both of these so we're going to replace those uh, put the bushing kits in um, bushing kits sometimes when you order a bushing kit you'll get the whole axle um, with these these spicers or bendix or not spicers but bendix uh, kits here uh, they they're individual so you got to get two kits so always when you're going to order stuff make sure you ask them uh, if you need if it's just one kit or two kits because if you like i said if they only put one you're only going to get one side um, and they're not too expensive either. I think we were $60 a piece or something for these. So it's not a huge job. It's just kind of a hassle that you're going to pull the whole hub and everything off. So, I mean, if you're going to go ahead and do wheel seals or something like that, go ahead and, and check that out, the, your brake cams out, because it'd be, make more sense to go ahead and replace them. Or if, like I said, if you're at a shop, you're not doing the work yourself, um, they're doing a wheel seal, have them go ahead and check the cams out because the hub and everything's already off and it only takes about 20 minutes longer to go ahead and pull a slack adjuster off, put new bushings in it and uh, put a new cam and all that stuff in. Well, thanks for watching. Um, hope that helps you out. Hope that's uh, good information for you and uh, save you some money, time, and uh, some downtime and all that good stuff, so, or bad stuff. Um, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That helps us uh, grow the channel, get the information out to other people. Uh, like the video, uh, comment, and uh, hit the bell so you always get the new updates on new videos we're putting out. So again, guys, thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.